Colorado is sure an adventure to drive, and you got people like that that just come over on you for no reason. You got these trucks that are on the interstate that kind of can't pick a lane. Pick a lane, guy. You know, he kind of came over. Seems to do, be doing okay. Oh, no, no. Must, must have got a new text. He is now all over the place, but... You know, that's kind of normal on the roadway now, nowadays, and there he goes. He's even going to go further each time, further and further. Wow. Just got to watch out out there, guys and gals. It's a crazy environment to drive in here in Colorado. I think it has to do with a lot of Californians, Texans, a bunch of people from all over moving here. Last minute, the semi, we're going uphill, mind you, decides to come over. I had to scrub a lot of speed, and now I get to putz up, and he is never going to get around that yellow truck. It's going to take a very long time. I don't know why some of my truck drivers do that. Here we go. This guy's going to turn left. Uh, nope. Change of mind. Not going to do it. Don't want to do it quite yet. Yep. They decided that's not where they wanted to go. Okay. that That's fine. That was minor. But, you know, the clip is continuing because the silver car is like, oh, I'm just going to squeeze in right here. You know, I need to be left. Why am I not in the left lane? You know, I've already picked my lane. I know where I need to be. I don't know why people have a hard time knowing where they're going. And here we are back on I-25 once again. I obviously take that a lot being li living in Colorado Springs. Okay, I'll move over. I'm usually in the middle lane if there's three lanes. And, uh, you know, I speed right up, flow of traffic. And we're just cruising along. Seems okay getting around this UPS guy. And wait for it. Wait for it. Is, he, is the silver car going to do something? What is going to go on? Oh, here we go. Here we go. You know, the, notice they were hugging the right. Ah, no, there's vehicles over there. Who would have thought that? With the traffic up ahead, they couldn't see up ahead that, hey, there's a vehicle up there. I'm not going to be able to get around in the middle lane. Well, yeah, because it's not the passing lane. So what are you doing? Here I am. I'm in the left lane here to merge on. People on the right need to merge or left. That truck that was kind of on the corner when I was turning decided to speed up to get to cram in front of me, even though there was plenty of room behind me. But yeah, that's why I hit the button there. As you see the camera shake, that means I hit the button. So I swoop over. Everything's fine. There was only that car in the fast lane. I come over and I just accelerate and out accelerate them. Here I am sitting at my local bank, waiting for it to open. And what is going on? This car just pulls up. But hey, guys, fooled you. You know what it turned out to be? Employee being dropped off. So this I included just to show how video can kind of be manipulated to show a bad driver. They weren't really being bad. It's an employee, and that car was out of there. Now this person, these people at school like to block the fire hydrant. They always block, and that lady always faces towards me on the wrong side. I don't know why, and she likes blocking the fire hydrant. I, I find that a pet peeve of mine. Don't block the fire hydrant. There's other spaces. Here we are. We're sitting here waiting, waiting. This, you know, I want you to watch the uh, truck in front of me. That's who we're watching in this case. That truck. Look at all this room. There's plenty of opportunity to move lanes to the right. And I kind of tipped it off, but yes, they're going to want to go right. But look, plenty of room, plenty of opportunity to wake up and be like, you know what? I really need to turn right, not go straight. Oh, here, I'm going to do it right now. Inappropriate. Whoa, what in the heck? You almost got creamed, and it would have been your fault. I wish that guy would have hit you, and I could have showed this uh, dash cam footage to the police and to that guy, and you would have been had the tickets, because I'm sure you would have had some excuse. I'm sure you would have been like, I'm not at fault. But here we are. We're cruising along. It's traffic. Oh, I'm just going to come over. Why not? You know, this person's been over in the right for a while now when I was uh, recording. And that's why I saved it. That's why I included it. Because it's just annoying when people are over there and then they wake up. Like, oh, I need to be in the left lane. 
here we are obviously very busy i'm waiting to get on the interstate up ahead i-25 i need i need to be in the left lane i know where i'm going and okay i'm in the left lane didn't block an intersection pulling forward up here okay we're continuing on it, it's going smoothly here we're gonna you know and I know the last minute people are going to try to look, this guy kind of has his blinker on. It's only that lower part. I didn't even notice it at the time. And, and I'm just wanting to get through and look now they're going to cause a traffic jam because they didn't fall behind way sooner. Well, we were all sitting here to get on the interstate. Look, caused a traffic jam just because it's me, 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 instead of them going straight, being like, ah, oh, you know, maybe I'll, I'll somebody at the light will let me in or somebody further up there's a space and i can kind of squeeze in nope we're going to do it right here and deny these people the ability to get to the light although you can see the red subaru also has the left blinker on yeah i don't think i let him in either <laughs> but here we are cruising south on i-25 in colorado springs and the vehicle i want you to watch is the guy with the top case here he goes you know he's going faster than everyone else gets to the middle he's passing illegally passing in the middle lane and you're like well he hasn't passed anyone yeah he hasn't changed lanes well just wait for it you know oh he woke up there's a vehicle in the middle lane well who would have thought that and all they did was get one car didn't didn't get any further didn't make any better time but you know they just had to do that now let's watch this vehicle. We're coming to a stop sign. They kind of did a crummy job stopping. I stop. I start going. That car didn't even stop. And I hit record. And I kind of accelerate up here. And I didn't have any words with them. But I made sure just to block their view. <laughs> that way they can't see. They had to come to a stop. And uh, here we are. We're in town once again. And this guy just completely blows the red light completely didn't even attempt to stop or anything you know it wasn't even close he had plenty of time to stop at our speeds our slow speeds and that guy just i hate these people that swoop across multiple lanes you know they just swoop across don't care don't care about anyone else or these people they're in the right they're behind people and they swoop over to the left and cut people off it breaks end up being hit it's a traffic uh, area of I-25 going over Monument Hill. You know, it's like, what are you doing? And here I am. I'm cruising along. This is going south out of Denver. And this school bus swoops over from the far right, skips a lane, and comes over. And I actually kind of locked him up on the truck right there. And I laid on the horn because that was totally uncalled for. Oh, it's turning. I stop. And... Here we're going to have a vehicle come up on my right. And I just kind of wanted to include a little more than I needed. But here's that truck. And, you know, I've already been at the light for a bit. It's going to change here shortly. And he just goes. He, he just does not care. He continues right on through. Doesn't care about anyone but themselves just gonna go right through the light like it wasn't even there and you know it wasn't that long of a red light it's raining out that car did not stop at the stop sign I stop my stop there was a little on the crummy side but I did look both ways and you know I do make sure I could have did a better job at fully stopping there to be honest but look at this car doesn't even come close yep she just ran that one in a hurry to get to nowhere you know that's most people they're in a hurry to go nowhere and here we have don't mind the guy with the blinker on but watch the motorcycle he's in the left left turn lane i'm in the left right turn lane oh he wants to come over not a big deal but he kind of crams himself over to the right I'm thinking, wow, that's a bonehead move to make on a motorcycle, especially a big bike like that. That minivan gave plenty of room, if you noticed, because he's kind of in no man's land, and we don't have lane sharing here in Colorado. Oh, wait, no, I need the left lane. I'm going to move back to the left, and that's when I hit record to save. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Have a good one. Bye.